Hi, welcome to our virtual machine. We are here recording on the left screen, so that's why it was a little bit transparent. And we are actually working on 5.0, so R2D2 has been released. And there is a question of uh, a person, an arch lover on the forum, and it says, look, why or how is it possible that I can change this login? So many of us do not log in, just do an auto login. But there is a possibility to, well, if you start your computer, that you get the login screen. And then by default, you get this image here. Now, this image, and I'm going to be, well, the result is important, of course, but I think it's less important. Um, finding your answers on the internet is, I believe, more important. And figuring out where and how and, and what. So you have to know that we are in light dm gtk greeter it says up here and that's where you log in in this thing so any search on google has to be with light dm and then maybe even gtk plus greeter so we are actually now in the configuration folder which is this one in etc and so you can look in here or you can look in here and it's in this one that it says you should take a theme let's move it out of the way look what happens this is a graphical interface arch arch savvy mono arch lab savvy mono arch lab so this is any any graphical application is just a window to um, of your file so this thing here says show me a computer so changing this image if you want to change that you can change it to any icon you want and there are lots of icons here in actions you can have a look at what you like in applications there are icons enough in categories and so on so we are have a choice to to choose between all of these icons and i thought it was most convenient to have a neutral icon like computer or or uh, use desktop maybe or folder or house go home why not something like that so if we do this one it's gonna change if we save it it's gonna change here as well as you can see the file light the NGTK creator has been recently blah 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 reload and then okay and here it goes user share backgrounds art oh sorry uh, go home <laughs> reading the wrong line here so it's this the hashtag seems to tell him um, whatever icon team he's using take icon go home okay um so that's solved just quick look let's uh, exit because we're on virtual machine so i can keep on uh, filming it so we've changed this blue thing to this uh, login remember when we are on our snaps we should decide just once which one to log in and then it's okay then we'll remember and uh, my password was not correct capital letters okay fine everything okay so we're back in um okay what if what if next question what if i do not want to have this um this 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 uh icon there but i want something else so i'm gonna look for my own picture probably you'll have your own avatar or i don't know how you call it or logo let's see if i can find something oops not a zero a logo some pictures this is my logo at the moment this was my younger days yeah? and my very psychedelic days so we're gonna go to this one and download that one so save image s and we're gonna save this area du bois logo it's in downloads remember where you put it so if you would like to have this kind of picture on your login, how do you do that? That's something else. Um, well, I didn't know the answer. So like I said, looking for the answer is more important. So light DM, light DM, arch is all good. But it was written wrong, but he corrects it. So that's no problem. So this is light DM and you can go and, and, and look about what, what uh, you should know. And here it says GTK plus greeter. So you recognize the name and say, oh, yeah. okay. 
and you can change the background okay we don't want to change the background we want to change the image and so we keep looking and trying to find where the possibility is ah, changing your avatar so this is the technical name you should know that's your login so googling with arch avatar lightm would have been more successful but if you don't know technical names you're always in a little bit of, of trouble now the thing it says here um i've tried that and it's well not working for me so I've, i'm gonna give you something else I'm not i'm not gonna install account service but i have tried it and we need to put our image somewhere else um, so if you don't know you just follow of course what's been said here and you install this and you should install an icon somewhere and, and create a file there and so on create this create that but often there are other, other solutions so you can keep looking and it, this this explanation of this um, tutorial here gave me an idea i said hmm i can maybe and well let's do it together let's let's make this mistake and see ah it could not work huh? so let's redo whatever i did yesterday and um, see what happens so i have this image i want to select the file and it is in downloads and i said eric the well logo gpg i said okay done the tutorial is ready i can make it and then i log off and nothing happens so nothing there and i said how is that possible um, why is it not taking this image and then I thought, uh, maybe, just maybe, and that's why ArchWiki is good. It gives you ideas, even if it's, it's, it's uh, in this case, it did not work for me. Um, it gave me an idea to go to the file manager, to go to the downloads, and take this one. So let's copy this one. Go to the file system. And then I thought all images are normally stored in uh, user, share, and then actually um, icon so it's not I know it's not an image but it's uh, an icon and to use share just like the word icons and you are on the folder and then most of our software engineers just dump their uh, icons in here in the high color so you can too now what I've learned why we can make this mistake as well let's let's just dump it in here and make the same mistake we're gonna dump it already in the correct folder so we'll need to make it a 64 by 64 otherwise it will be very ugly but at that point in time i did not know that yet so let's make the mistake i've put it in stock where else i wouldn't know where else it has not nothing to do with actions and, and emotions and places and states so put it in here so i said open folder as root because we're on the restricted part and i paste it in here so okay there's my picture rather than going to downloads i'm gonna to go to a protected part of the system user share icons high color 64 by 64 stock i do well over. let's see if this works so preferences that's all those things all go through my head I'm testing testing finding out what works what doesn't work so i'm gonna point to the right uh, place which is uh, what's this? There's an USB inside? No, no. Okay. Other, other locations. Oh, yeah, yeah. No. I'm thinking. Okay. I think it's okay. So, user share icons 64. Say we are somewhere else this file system there is no oh 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 okay wait 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 high color my mistake 64 okay stock aha uh -huh. okay no problem i find it strange that this is red behind it okay anyway this is the file okay picture is there we save it we log out and i say done i can make oh no my god next challenge that's a bit too big so you have a logo and the logo is too big what do you do then you go to maybe first where you 
have downloaded it, yeah, uh, and you go to the download, download and you say, Phew, a nice image, but too big, so you open it with GIMP. So, first time I opened it, single windows mode. And then there's this tool, this one, just wait for it, scale tool, scale the layer, selection on path. Click on it, click on it, and then it needs to be apparently 64 by 64. There is no chain here in between, you need to click on it, or otherwise you'll have to do it twice, 64 by 64. Let's cancel it, let's do it again. So the chain is on. 64 so 64 by 64 this is gonna be our scale and you think it's small yeah I suppose it is small but we need it to be small so um, we did do something wrong last time everything was scaled and now I have this big image still so I have to do an extra extra effort here by cropping and making it as big as that. Okay, when we zoom out, it will be better, of course. As we mean zoom out, you know, we lose a lot of pixels when we do that. So, but like that, it will be just fine. So, exporting it as, well, I call it 64 by 64. It really doesn't matter what it's called, but it's just for me. No, okay, that's the size of the thing. Don't lose any more images anymore, uh, any uh, quality. Any more pixels, so 100. Export in this card. So this one is proper one. Copy. Going back to our system, which is in the user. Share icons. And then I color 64. Stock. Right mouse click. Open folder as root. Moving it in, Control V. This one can go, and the 64 is the one we need. Okay, then I of course have to tell him that the 64 is in another place or for another name. Um, so I have to go back to the light gem appearance and say to this guy, Look, yeah, I know the image doesn't exist, I just deleted it. Just take this one now. Okay, that's okay, save it. We could go and check our file system here, etc, lightdm, and lightdm gtk creator, and here you see user share icons, high color 64 stock. So that's indeed the path where the icon is, and let's just hope for the best, and log out, and see if we have an image. So it doesn't need to be bigger, um, it, it will always be 64 by 64, then it's right aligned with uh, the greeter here, the login, and now you can change it. Have fun.